four teens, all under the age of 16, accused of killing a gas station clerk are now facing capital murder charges. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner sat down with a retired parole officer who focused on prevention and ways the community can get involved. She joins us live tonight with that story. Rochelle? Lisa, we hear about crime all the time, but when it involves children or teens, it can be hard to process. Today, I sat down with Ms. Daphne Jack. Now, she's been able to help plenty of children and teens through her nonprofit organization, Prevention Zone, Inc. And while it's not an easy task, Ms. Jack says it's important for everyone, including me and you, to get involved in the community. As they say, it takes a village. Where is the village? So you're talking community leaders, mm -hmm. police, mm -hmm. deputies, mm -hmm. state lawmakers. Mm -hmm. They need to all be they in to this all, meeting together. Exactly. What are some advice for parents or grandparents if they see that their child is kind of going down this bad path? Yeah. What can they do? Is there anything they could say? I mean, when I was growing up, it was a butt whooping. Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It was, it was, it was that, but. These kids are different these days. It's a whole new breed of children. And it's like being able to have a dialogue, talking to them. It's, you know, and then you might get some that's and I don't feel like talking. Well, when they say that, you need to dig a little deep why you don't feel like talking. And then there comes when you can reach out to someone else because kids have a tendency, you know, like if you have a kid and, and you've been telling this kid and then I come along saying the same thing, they'd be like, oh, that makes sense. You'd be like, that's what I just said. But to hear it from someone else would probably make a difference. You know, you see the average kid, you don't know what, where's their mom, where's their dad, where are these four boys, where are their parents? And so we want to be able to, to help those kids along the way. And Ms. Jack also shared with me some of the success, success stories that she's had with some of the students that she's worked with. On June 24th, her organization will be hosting a tournament, a golf tournament, a charity golf tournament rather, and it's going to bless children with incarcerated parents. You can learn more about the event on our website at clicktohouston.com. Reporting in Southwest Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.